Why is it called a Prince Charles? Prince Charles handle. No. It's the only thing I can think of. I best that it was either that or a weenie hook. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reacts. You did some Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's they so juicy. Juicy Kyrie Bell's part of the Unicage Squad. There's a spell of juice everywhere. Oh, cool. Is it from a film? It is from a film. Okay. What What else would it be from? Well, he could have been doing a solo. Yeah, his album. Does he have an album? He does. I would listen to that album. It's Amir Khan's Greatest Hits, Volume 1. I think we've reacted to one or two songs from this film. And it's just him standing around punching stuff. Uh, Get it? Greatest Hits? Is this the one that she said was her favorite? Who is she? What are you talking about? Shwastika. Of her, her favorite movie? Remember she said it was Amir Oh, Khan? she did. She said it was an Amir Khan film. Was it this one? Zindagi? Did she say Zindagi? Crap. Because you said something after she said Zindagi, I believe. Anyways, let us know. If it may be. If that's, what, if that's the case. If this is the film. But this has, uh, this is Kar Karishma. Yes. Karishma Kapoor. Charisma, Charisma Kapoor. Is it Charisma? Or? Remember she changed it. I don't know. There's... Yeah. There's, it's Charisma, thought, and then it was Charisma. She somebody said the they H. were cousins. I don't know what's I going heard on. it was Charisma, and then she dropped the H for the same reason that Ajay Devgan changed the spelling of his name. So, your guess is as good as mine, friend. But this one's called Ayaho Meri Zindagi. Okay. Which is uh, life. To life, to life, l'chaim. <sighs> need more phlegm in there. We go. Baby face. Maybe. Maybe so. I am 
Textually, obviously, I'd love to know why there's people yeah. on top of their car. Uh, and what's going on? Uh, they do that a lot. I don't see a lot of that when we were in India. People riding on top of their cars? No, but in film, though. It's always oh, somebody true. on a bus. Shah Rukh Khan. Shah Rukh Khan's on, on a bus. bus. Singing. On some form of transportation. A bus, he a really train. He likes transportation. He does. He likes to spread eagle on the back of a bus. Whoa. Who doesn't? Yeah, it was very catchy, and I think you're absolutely right. I think that's the same movie that has the I Love You, Daddy. Hold on. Oh, I love you. That was a very cute song. Daddy. Movie. Yeah, I Love You, Daddy song. Okay. okay, looks really like the same here. Aya ho me from Raja Hindustani. Uh, that is not the same one. What? Nope. Oh well. Same era, same kid. <laughs> probably not. I don't know. We're just probably totally wrong. <laughs> That's never happened before. <laughs> Wait, hold up. You're saying that we're, we've never been wrong before? No. Well, you have. Well, the closest we've ever come to being wrong, but we weren't, was when you said Lagan was a true story. It is a true story. One of the greatest true stories ever told. Is this true as the Titanic? It's true. I mean, it's as true as the Jack and Rose love story. Yeah, the Titanic. Jack and Rose love story in Titanic. Yeah. Because that was the, that's, that, was, that was why Titanic was so sad. That's true. Just because, because of that Jack guy. and Rose. All the other people that died. Anyway, 100%. this song, two people could have fit, fit on that. Three Anyways, people could have fit on there. Uh, so annoying. I thought this was definitively from that. It's very catchy. Again, like a lot of songs that get taken out of a film and just are a standalone, you don't know what's going on unless it's just like a big celebration number. Those do well. When it's just a big celebration number, those are a good thing. Because well, they don't, they're not carrying the story. They're just letting you feel something for a little bit. Or if they're saying, Oh, I love you, daddy. True. They like for this one, for all we know, they kidnapped the kid. Oof. We don't know. And that makes this a very strange song, doesn't it? Maybe the kid Amir Khan kidnapped is, them. Amir Khan is playing Jeffrey Epstein. Well, Amir Khan plays a Khan in Come Here, Khan, man. Not a film that you need to make, uh, not a person you need to make a movie about. No. Do you think they will? <laughs> I mean, they've made movies about awful people before. But it's a documentary, that's enough. Yeah, well, that's a documentary. Those are different. They need to, to learn information. Right. I wonder. Has this been requested a lot for us to see, the film? Oh, I don't know about the film. Oh. But I do, every time we watch American. Uh, something I go like oh, we need to watch an American film 
been a while. <clears throat> I think it's um, Talash. 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 Okay. Talash. Talash? Yeah. Is that the name of it? Uh, I, I think where he plays it, I think Irfan Khan's The detective? I think Irfan Khan's in it with him. The one where he was serious and he has a mustache yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah, ooh, yeah, I want to see that. Yeah. That, and I think Secret Superstar as well. Okay. Uh, uh, and then Lagan. And then what's going on with this Forrest Gump movie? Now we've got uh, coronavirus. Well, that was supposed to come out on Christmas. Yeah. I know that. So it, maybe, I'm, I'm assuming they're still hoping that yeah. it will come out on Christmas, but I don't. Numbers aren't looking great right this was now. A, this was a catchy song. I just, as a standalone, it doesn't make me jump up and down. Yeah. I want to see it in the context of the film. There you go. Let us know.